Good morning everybody, welcome back. Okay, we are on part four, I believe, of the <clears throat> journal slash lap book from a mailer. And so today, carrying on with this front uh, section here, I've got an envelope that is a six and a quarter by four and a half craft envelope. And I'm going to make this into a little pocket flip. So I'm just going to start by trimming off the very edge of this um, so that we've got a pocket. This is going to form a pocket on the side. Um, and I've decided on the front it would be nice to do a little uh, coin envelope. And the back, for right now, I will probably just cover the back with an image. And then as we get further on, I may come back and add um, a couple of small pockets. We'll see as we go. So the first thing I want to do is get this back covered. Um, so let me just uh, move this over. I'm going to lift you guys up here a bit so you can see. Tell you what, I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to go with the coin envelope first. And the reason I'm saying that is I've decided to go with a contrasting paper. This is not part of the kit, but I thought it might be kind of pretty to do something that broke this up a little bit. And this, this was just something I've had in my background, and I've matched it up pretty good. I mean, I could use that side as well, but I like the green, so I'm going to go with that. So, I've measured it out, and I know for this I'm going to want it 4 inches by 575, but I, I just printed on both sides of this so that the inside of this um, is going to... not be white. I didn't want it to be a white. So let me just see. I want to make sure again that's... Yeah, I'm going to go four inches wide. So I'm cutting this. This is an A4 paper and I'm just going to cut it at four inches. Then I'll save this. I can use that possibly on the other side. I'm going to see how this goes. I'm going to make this a little bit, um, well not a little bit, I'm going to make it into an accordion. Coin envelope. That way we have a bit of room for it to expand. So I'm hoping I can do this with one sheet. I might not be able to. so I'm going to need this other strip and I'm hoping oh it's not going to it's not going to work I'm going to have to print another one out I mean I could make it I'll just go with it because I don't want to have to print that out again so with the um, expansion you know the making an accordion will have a bit more room in there, but I'm okay with that actually, so I'm just going to go with it. Okay. 
Oh, nuts. I've been having so much trouble with this quarter rounder, guys. to make the um, little pieces out of the coordinating. I think that's going to look nicer. So let me see what I'm going to want them to be. I'm going to go three and a half inches. Okay, so just bear with me guys, this, this is how I do it, and I'll explain to you what the dimensions are in just a second. Okay, so you're going to need, if you're going to do it this size, it's three and a half by two inches. And then you're scoring at the half inch mark. Uh, let me see. Okay, so let me get this one done. I just find, for me, if I cut the paper slightly larger, it's just a little bit easier to go ahead and do it. And of course, I've never had to really think about the dimensions until I did a tutorial. <laughs> so, okay, so let me just get in my head, because I want the green to be outside. So you're going to want to fold it so that you've got the mountains facing in. And that way it will all coordinate. Okay, before I glue that down, because I always, always forget to do this, I want to get my little circles cut and positioned because once I get these glued down that's going to make it difficult to do that. So let me grab some cardstock and this is just some heavy uh, craft and I'm going to do four and glue two of those together. It just um, I like them to be a little bit sturdier, so I, this is why I do it.
and then I'm just going to put a hole in the center. And I wish I knew how to... Um, I'm terrible about getting center on things. I think I've told you that, guys, in the past. Once I, It always looks straight, and then when I put it on, it's like, oh, it's so wonky. I don't know what's wrong with me. And then get a couple little brads here. Yeah, I can already see I didn't get that center. Oh, I'm terrible about doing that. Okay, so now I'm going to get these where I want them to be. Hopefully in that center. So now I'm just going to get this little bit line it up at the bottom and take it right to the edge. And the same over here on this side before I uh, glue that top portion. Okay, and so now you can see you've got that, you know, just a little bit of extra room. Um, just so nothing catches, I've got this little extra bit. I'm just going to put a couple of these over those brads just to kind of finish it off. Way, anything that goes in and out won't catch on those. And up here it's just really more for decorative. Okay. So now we can get this I won't put it on there yet. We'll go ahead and get this other bit. Um, which paper to use on that? Okay, I'll just go ahead and go, I think, with one of these. So let me trim this down. Um, Four and a quarter by six is what I'm going to use for the paper on this one. that 
down anymore. Okay, so how I do this, because if you put glue on the whole thing, you're going to close that pocket. So I just go along here, and then on this side I'm just going to put a bead so that that's going to allow enough room. so that it won't close that off. That's fine, that's all good now. And so now, I'm happy to go ahead now and add this. Um, I'll go ahead and just glue this on three sides, and that way we can have a tag coming out of here as well. Because we're not going to do much in the journal itself, That'll just be left for writing. I want to add as many tags and journal cards to the front and back as I possibly can. Okay, so now let me just get some of this linen thread. Okay, so we've got that ready. How are we doing on time? Yep, we're good, we're good, we're good. So now we know we're going to have a tag here. We can put some journal cards inside. We've got this space. We can do a nice big journal card. And then, again, this is going to go here. So, I think what I'll do is go ahead and make a nice tag here and a journal card. This was one I um, recently did with you guys on adding texture. I actually think that would work really nice there. The only thing, I think I want to tone it down a bit more with, the, with some ink. And then I'll get some kind of image. And this is just some of the um, vintage photo. I'm just kind of adding to it because I want to give it more of a um, honey because that's 
quite a bright yellow and I want to make sure it all coordinates nice. Ooh, I love that. So yeah, these were done ahead of time, as you know, and um, it's great when you've got things already done like that, so I'm very happy with that. In fact, I'm not even going to put anything on that because that is such a pretty tag on its own. That is going to work really pretty there. Get some. Let me see if I've got some sorry or. Let me just see if I've got anything. These, got these beautiful little tickets. I think I'm going to take one of those. This is such a pretty cat. <laughs> I love it. I am going to punch a hole and put that in dangling. And then that'll flip over. So now we need to do a big journal card here. And this one's going to be a, a nice size one. So we can go probably five and a half. Mm, three and three quarter.
going to make a couple of uh, tabs, guys. And I've got dies for these, so two seconds. Alright guys, I am running out of time, so I'm going to stop it here and pick back up. Okay, I'm just going to cut out a couple of these tabs. Because sometimes I like to mix it up on the, on the shape of my tabs so that it's not all the same. so hungry guys. I've recently gotten back on the keto and I do mean recent. This is day three. And I won't lie, I'm struggling with it this time. I've had a headache for two days now. Um, so yeah, this morning, as soon as I get done with this, I'm going to go make myself a big breakfast. <laughs> And hopefully that'll, uh, I mean, I don't have a headache today, thank goodness. I'm so glad because the last two days it's been, um, it's just been there. I can't get rid of it. Okay, we want to do a journal card. Now, what I was thinking is she's got these beautiful ones here. I, I'm inclined to just cut this out, put some paper on the back, and uh, layer that up is what I think I'm going to do. how much I love this kit. <laughs> oh, it is just gorgeous. I'm going to have to make myself a journal. Must do it. Okay, so isn't that going to be pretty? And then I'm going to do these tabs. But I know I want to... Okay, so I've got a couple of things here. Let me think about this. Think, think, think. got some of these leftover papers. I'm going to use those. Just going to trim this little bit of white off. This one, guys, I'm going <clears> to <throat> take over to the machine and put some stitching around it just to give it a little bit more interest. But and when I do that, I'm also going to back it. Um, And you'll see what I'm going to do here. So, I'm going to first stitch around this image, and then I'm going to back it with paper, because I really don't like seeing um, stitching. Then I'm going to back it with paper and run a, a, a stitch around here as well. So. When I get back, we'll do a stamp on those, um, then that will be done. Be back in. Okay, guys, this is how it looks now. Bring it closer. You see the stitching. 
and I backed it with some tea dyed paper. It just looks a little bit nicer, I think, with that stitching on it. So now I just want to do our little tab. I'll go here, but I've got a little stamp that says Believe. I thought I had one. I had one at some point that said Gratitude and doggone it, I seem to have lost that. and I'm not sure how I did, but um, because that's the word I'm kind of um, focusing on this week is gratitude. And I was hoping I could find that, but I can't. So, <laughs> so we're going to use belief. Um, okay, so let's get this on here. And with that little addition is going to be complete. And this is when I'm starting to question, ooh, do I want to distress it a little bit with some ink? Because this little tab kind of feels a bit blah without a little bit of ink to make it stand out. But mm, I feel like if I commit to it on that, I've got to do it on the whole thing. And I might do. I might do. But for the time being, let me just do a little bit on this because that's going to bug me, guys. I, I just feel like it needs a little bit to make it stand out. Not, not too much, but you can see just that little bit on the edge. Okay, so that's starting to come together. going to be like that, and then this is going to be folded over here. It's starting to get some nice layers now, isn't it? And then the next time we will work on the large window portion of it, and then we'll start thinking about um, if we need to add another envelope or two for some more flips, um, because as I said, I definitely don't want to do anything there. Uh, and then we've got the back. Depending on how chunky it's getting, we will think that through. Because I have a feeling, see that is starting to fill up now, which is nice. That's what I want. I want that to be full. So yeah, we'll make a decision then, but I'm really, I'm really enjoying this project. I uh, love these papers, if I hadn't said so. <laughs> um, but anyways, I hope you guys are all well and safe. Um, for those of you uh, here who uh, have a faith, I would uh, now like to ask if I could get some of you um, I, I've got a prayer request for some of you, please. Um, as you know, my daughter and son-in-law both had COVID in June, July, I think it was in June last year. And um, Nikki, my daughter's name is Nikki, she's 34. Um, Nikki's got other health issues, um, but she's now, the COVID has come back and, well, she doesn't have COVID, no, I'm sorry. She's got long haul COVID, um, and what that means is she's now having um, severe vomiting, nausea, which is all a side effect of the change in her smell. She um, she cannot drink water; it tastes like chemicals. She wakes up and um, feels sick 
the sheets um, on the bed are just have a sickening smell to them. She's been in an emergency room twice this last weekend, and the doctors have basically given her an anti-nausea prescription and told her that there's nothing that they can do, that they don't know enough about COVID. Um, and for those of you who don't know, Nikki already has um, severe anxiety and depression. And my concern is I can already see that mentally it's beginning to affect her. So please, please, guys, um, if you would just remember her in prayer and lift her up so that uh, we can find some kind of treatment um, for this and that she can stay strong during the period while they're trying to find anything out. So um, I appreciate it if you would do that. And um, I will be back as quick as I can, guys, um, to get on to the next step. So I hope you're enjoying this project. I hope you all stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.